Good afternoon, I'm Ty Carmen with Carmen RC Trailers. Welcome back. Today we have the 90 millimeter F22 from Motion RC. Uh, very big, beautiful finish on it. Uh, it went together pretty easy. I didn't have any issues uh, once I put it together. I think the only problems I had was uh, you get eight different screws, four with a tip and four flat for the installation of the elevators. I'll show you on the bottom. On these installations. So you basically want to make sure that you use the flat tipped screws for your control rods. And then the other screws would be for the uh, elephant for the rudders. Uh, I've flown it a couple of times. Very good flying jet. I want to show you a couple of things I did do to it. Uh, everybody's flying style is different. I'll show you my CG and I'll also show you what I did as far as for the blue box. Everything is still stocked flying with the blue box. This is the 6S uh, high performance version. Uh, it has the in runner motor instead of the out runner. So basically what I did was I took my blue box and I moved it over to the side. I unscrewed it and I'm using the Admiral six channel receiver with the gyro. Uh, there's been different reviews about it people some people like them some people don't i use them in all my jets that i can uh they just work out real well for me i haven't had any issues yet also i have never had an issue with the blue box uh, on the nose cone of the plane uh for the life of me maybe i missed it in the manual but i did not know what the little block of wood was for until one of one day me and my buddy were talking about it he has the 8s version and we figured out that's what the slot was for. I didn't notice the little slot on the nose. So you glue this piece of wood in and you slide it in place here and it magnetizes. That way if you make a hard landing, it just, it, the nose don't come off and tear up the undercarriage of the plane. Today I'm gonna be flying with a HRB 5000 milliamp 50C battery pack. We all heard of them. I use them a lot. I also use the Admiral batteries and I also use the Smart batteries. Uh, but today we're going to use the HRB battery, uh, 50C, to show you all the little demonstration. It's kind of cloudy here in South Louisiana. Gray plane, gray clouds. We'll try and make it as, uh, as close as possible. Keep the plane close to you just to see what it can do. And try and get a little short video for you. Alrighty, let's see what it can do. Now I have this receiver set up to where I can turn the gyro on and gyro off. Uh, that's the only features that I use on it. I don't use the stability plug, the, the panic mode. I just use it so I can turn the gyro on and off. Check all your surfaces, make sure they're all right, make sure everything's moving. And here we go. We're gonna taxi out. I'm gonna use half flap. It's got a little light breeze. Half flap. On here. All right, here we go. We're gonna take off and probably go straight vertical. One good thing about this F-22 is the airframe is real floaty. Right now I have no power and I'm just gliding. I know it's hard to see with the gray sky, but it's, it's like a big frisbee. It'll, it'll just float. Coming back into the power. Slow path. I'm gonna come back around, I'm gonna make a try and do a little harrier pass or a slow pass just to show you what it can do I'm only at quarter throttle right now 
right, I'm gonna start pulling the nose up. And we gotta stop, it stopped, there it is. As you can tell, it just sits. It's, it's, it's amazing how floaty it can be. And we go full power, push the nose down. We'll turn and come back around. And we're gonna go back up and roll. Rolling, rolling. And I'm off the power. You can very much do a lot of throttle management with this jet on your downside glides. It's very, very smooth. And like I said, the Admiral Gyro receiver is working great. I had to turn the pods down to about nine o'clock and set everything up that way. But I do that on all of them and then I'm, I increase as I need. The roll rate is amazing. As you can see how that gyro locks whenever you're in the roll when you stop it. See, it just locks the wings back into place. Come around and do a little presentation pass and then we'll come back around and land. Alright, so I'm coming in for my landing. I'm going downwind. Gear down. Gear down and half flaps. Slow the jet down. I do not have any elevator mix with the flaps. The book called for it, but I chose not to do it. It doesn't need it. So I'm coming in, you can see the landing light. And we're slowing it down. down. Turn it around, we'll taxi it back. Now this is the free wing 90 millimeter F22 from Motion RC. Like I said, it's a very good flying plane. Very, very good flying plane. I'm very impressed with it. Uh, another one that is good uh, that I really like is the 90 millimeter F18. Uh, this one, like I said, is very floaty and it's very much worth it. Uh, if you have any questions, don't, don't hesitate to comment. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.